time to wake up. For the past several years, Square Enix has released a landslide of Final Fantasy spin-offs with varying success. Adding to the list is the cutest can be world of Final Fantasy, a warm and fuzzy blend of nostalgic turn-based combat and monster stacking that had me simultaneously squealing with delight and sighing with boredom throughout its well over 50 hour campaign. <laughs> That was a good fight! Oh yeah! Let's cut right to the chase. This is the cutest Final Fantasy I've ever played, and I've played just about all of them. The vertical world of Grimoire is filled with adorably pixie-sized NPCs and cuddly shrink-wrapped versions of Final Fantasy monsters. Amplifying the adorableness is an energetic pair of apple-cheeked twin heroes that spout pun-filled dialogue as they zigzag up and down a chain of floating islands collecting special monsters called mirages. Their light-hearted banter gives the increasingly bizarre story about a time divergence that could save or doom the world some much-needed humor. World of Final Fantasy has oodles and oodles of charm. Even the turn-based combat starts off endearing. Instead of wrangling random NPCs into your party, you capture mirages and then use skill points to evolve them Pokemon style. Each of your twin heroes can take two of these little cuties into battle and either stack them like a wobbly totem according to size or have them fight alongside their human masters, both of whom can grow or shrink at will. Stacking mirages means accumulating your allies' weaknesses and giving them fewer opportunities to strike at enemies. But stacking also combines character strengths and abilities and unlocks more powerful magic when using monsters with similar skill sets. There are literally hundreds of mirages to collect, and I ended up with a breathtaking array of ways to manipulate my combat skills for maximum effectiveness while stacking. I found ganging up in battle was the preferred way to trounce an enemy, especially if they were also arranged in a powerful pancake formation. Plus, it looks really, really cute. Mirages aren't the only adorable things to collect. In a fun bit of summoning role reversal, you can use special medals to unlock miniature versions of Final Fantasy heroes that temporarily appear in battle to deal out extra damage and buff your stats even further. And if it wasn't enough, there are also traditional espers ready to call upon, which I appreciate it since I always enjoy watching their overpowered finishing moves wreak havoc on the battlefield. Unfortunately, while there was always a steady stream of new monster friends and human champions to add to my party, some of their attributes started to feel similar after a while, resulting in boredom about halfway through the lengthy campaign. It was also a hassle having to constantly swap out so many allies to ensure all their levels and abilities were up to par. Extracurricular activities, like fighting for rare loot in the Colosseum, or participating in side quests involving Final Fantasy heroes, helped break up some of the monotony, but it wasn't enough to stave off battle fatigue. Combat wasn't the only thing to drain my enthusiasm. Towns and dungeons are little more than a series of cramped vertical corridors that offer little in the way of exploration. In fact, one area was just one long series of ridge cables that went upward. That's it. Even the hub town of Nine Hills has few areas to explore, and for reasons I don't understand is the only place you can shop for items. That meant schlepping it back to town whenever I was low on supplies. It's too bad areas don't offer more variety, because I enjoyed exploring the rare bits of expanse that let me use my monster friends to find hidden treasure or flutter across gaps to snatch up loot. If there's one upside to mindlessly pushing the analog stick in the same direction, it's that it allowed me to pay more attention to the catchy remixes of classic Final Fantasy tunes playing in the background. Feel the wrath of the sea. Tidal wave! World of Final Fantasy is a humorous adventure that is just too cute for words, but its combat and exploration aren't diverse enough to support a campaign nearly as long as this one. However, I did enjoy it for a long time, more than 30 hours, before it finally wore out its welcome. For more on all things Final Fantasy, stick with IGN.